If you are in a one-room office or small business, the management of your cables is not the most important thing you need to worry about. But if you are in a very large organization that's on a very large campus, you have miles and miles of cabling and fiber that go between all of these different connections, then managing the cable is going to be an important part of your infrastructure management. There are some worldwide standards for this. The ANSI TIA EIA 606 is the administration standard for the telecommunications infrastructure of commercial buildings. They've already gone through the trouble of telling you exactly how you should be managing all of these wires and cables in your environment. It talks about how this information should be presented, how it should be on reports, what the drawings should look like, what your work orders should have on them. It talks about the pathway and the space and the grounding labeling that you're doing, how you would identify that so that you'd be able to look inside of a floor or a ceiling and know exactly what that particular cable is associated with and the data cables themselves. You need to understand how to identify them, how you would label them, the color coding, even barcoding of those cables. This is a very specific standard, and if you have a lot of cables, this can be very, very handy. For cable management, everything is tagged and everything is labeled. You've got so many wires and cables you have to deal with that it's important that every cable be very specifically identifiable by anybody in the organization. And there should be a standard format that you come up with. The EIA-TIA standard we mentioned talks about ways to do this. This is one way you might want to go about it. Here's how you might tag one cable. That end of the cable is CB01-01A-D088. And this may mean that the CB01 is in your main facility building. The 01A means that it's on floor number one in your A data room. And D088 means the data port 88. That's a very, very specific labeling. But if you see that particular number or somebody writes down, I need you to check cable CB01-01A-D088, you know exactly what cable that is, and you know that that cable can't be anywhere else in your organization. That's a very, very good way to label and identify exactly what that cable is. There are other ways to identify cables and document them in a central database. And this EIA-TIA standard even goes through the process of understanding what colors you should use for different cables. It's very unusual to see somebody really stick with this standard, but you can see the, the standardization is very specific. Your demarcation is orange. Your first level backbone is white. Your auxiliary circuits should be yellow cabled or yellow labeled cables. This is a very specific standard. And if you're able to maintain that standard throughout your organization, it's going to help you later on identify very quickly and find the cables you need. And if you have a lot of cables you have to manage, this type of standardization can be extremely valuable.